Today, I want to show you a really, really interesting free plugin that was developed by the students of Technologies for Music Production at the University of Milan in Italy. They have an official website. The link is in the video description down below. And you can download a bunch of free plugins. They are both for Windows, Mac, some of them for Linux as well. And source code are verified, so no problem whatsoever. The one I want to show you today is the Masker. Essentially, it's an automatic dynamic EQ. It can identify overlapping frequencies between two sound sources and can draw a custom EQ to compensate between these masking frequencies. It's available for Windows and Mac only. And even though it's in beta version, I've been using this for a couple of weeks now and I've never noticed any problem, any issue uh, whatsoever. So huge shout out to these awesome audio people. Okay, so now it's time to test the masker in a real mixing session. This song is made by Chris Durban, it's called Celebrate. You can download it for free and for your personal practice. The link is in the video description down below. I want to uh, test this plugin with this lead vocal. Your head is strong, but your body's fierce, and we celebrate. And this distorted guitars. Now, take in mind that this mix is a raw session, no effects, no compression, no reverb, nothing, nothing. So, I want to EQ this bass guitar so that my lead vocal can shine on top of these guitars. Here I have the Masker plugin and I'm receiving the voice signal on bass track 3 and 4. And the first thing I want to show you is that this plugin is resizable, which is a huge plus for me since I'm working on a 4K monitor and I had a lot of problems using not resizable plugins. We have an input level, an output level, we can blend between dry and wet signal, we have a sidechain level to boost our sidechain level or attenuate. We can decide to bury or reveal masked frequencies. Same process for the clear frequencies. We have a stereo link. For this specific plugin, I don't know exactly what, what it's doing. Unfortunately, this plugin doesn't have a manual. So if you know what this stereo link is doing with this specific plugin, please let me know in the comment section. Last but not least, we have the clean up fader. If we are fully to the right, it will apply an EQ uh, only in the mid side of the spectrum. If we bring this fader all the way to the left, it will start affecting the low end. This is a pretty uh, crucial setting. Now, taking a look at the graph here, the spectrum analyzer. Uh, so we need to, let me mute the master, bring up the volume for both uh, signals so we can see everything. We have a, an input level, an input line, the white one, then we have output shown in green, the side chain spectrum, and finally the delta, which is the act actual compensation EQ applied to our signal. And we can start tweaking these parameters. So for first thing, I want to bury all masked frequencies. So I bring this uh, knob all the way to the left. And we can see it's it's the delta it's moving the side chain level it's too quiet though so we can boost the signal so that we can touch uh, the minus six db clean up is set to its 
maximum position here. So let's have a listen. Your head is strong, but your body is fierce. So we celebrate. Your head is strong, but your body is fierce. So and we celebrate. So it's very difficult to hear uh, what the masker is doing right now. So we can uh, boost the in level like so, so plus nine, uh, then we bring down the output volume by the same amount. And here we can see that we have a broad, a very wide EQ curve. So let's have a listen once again. We celebrate. Your head is strong, but your body is fierce. So we celebrate. Your head is strong, but Now we can tweak the clean up fader. Before, let me just pull down the sidechain level and let's have a listen. Your head is strong, but your body is fierce. Since we celebrate, your head is strong, but your body is fierce. So we celebrate, your head is strong, but your body is fierce. One last thing I want to show you is its CPU performance. And in Reaper we have a tab called Performance Monitoring where we can see all uh, CPU load based on each individual track. As we can see here in my Gitter bus I have a CPU load of 0.27% which is not super low it's not even a high parameter. Uh, this is a plugin that you don't apply on every single track of your mix, like a gain or maybe a compressor or a standard EQ. So this performance is pretty good. It's pretty solid. The only thing I want to mention is that it's introducing some latency. This is because probably of the large number of bands it's applying and the time it takes to compare masking frequencies. But overall, the CPU performance is very solid. And this was the masker. So if you found this video useful, please subscribe and leave a thumbs up. As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in a future video. Bye.